In, in the case of mobile, I think there are three things that have happened. Uh, the first obvious thing is people started using mobile as a channel for what they were doing before. So if I use coupons, now I can use coupons on mobile. If you want to check in into an airline, I can use uh, mobile for your gate check-in and your boarding pass. So that's the easiest transition and that I wouldn't call that a major shift, but it's simply using a cheaper channel. The second thing that happened in mobile is location-based services. Uh, with things like Foursquare. So companies like McDonald using uh, location-based services to drive traffic into the store. And the retailers are using it much more because they didn't know exactly who walked into the store and who didn't walk into the store. On the web, you can actually track people. In the retail store, you don't track people. So the companies like Shopkick, who are linked in with some of the retailers uh, like Macy's and Best Buy, are also trying to do that. The third thing, which I think is even more fundamental shift that mobile is doing, uh, is changing the industry structure. And a good example of that is what is happening in the banking industry. So if you take the example of M-Pesa in Kenya, which was started by a Safaricom, which is a telecom company, uh, in Kenya, in emerging markets, people don't have banks, or there are not that many banks. Banking infrastructure is not very strong because the income is low and the inf infrastructure costs money. But majority of the population, even in a place like Kenya, has mobile phones. So what some of these companies have started using is they have started using the SIM card as a storage device. So I can actually go to the local telecom shop, all these mom and pop shops, and pay real money to actually have my SIM card loaded with cash. And now I can use that SIM card to transact with other people. So SIM card effectively has become a saving device. And uh, Kenya has done fantastically well in this particular domain. And the same thing is happening in Philippines and some other emerging markets. And I also find it fascinating because there are lots of innovations that are happening in emerging markets which are very different from the Western world. So because the mobile penetration is huge. So I think you will see lots of interesting ideas coming from emerging markets out of the need of those countries because internet penetration is low but mobile penetration is huge.